In this machine learning class, we will see the model representation and interpretability from second unit that is modeling and evaluation. So, in today's class, we will see the underfitting, overfitting and bias and variance trade-off. So, the bias is nothing but errors that is error due to bias and error due to variance. Okay, so these are the things we will see in today's class. Model representation. Here, the goal of supervised machine learning is to learn or derive a target function, okay, which can be best to determine the target variable from a set of input variable. Okay, so this is our model or supervised machine learning algorithm. So, here it requires uh, training data. So, from the training data, the model will be trained and it will produce the target function. It will produce a target function which determines the target variable, which determines a target variable. Hence, the target variable will be highly dependent on the input variable. Input variable is available in training data, isn't it? Right. Here, the learning the target function from the training data is the extent of generalization. So, we have already seen what is generalization in our previous class, isn't it? So, learning the target function from the training data is actually the generalization, extension of generalization. The input data is limited and specific one. Okay. So, the input data is the known data. Okay. Because by using this input data only the model will be trained. Hence, all the input data is known data. But the new unknown data is the test data. All the test data are unknown to our model and that may be different from the training data sometimes. Here, the fitness, this is important, okay. The fitness of target function approximated by the learning algorithm which determines how correctly, how correctly it is able to classify a set of data that it has never seen, okay. That means, once the model got trained, then the model is used to, to test by using the new data. So, this is the new data is called as test data. Okay. Now, of, while testing, we need to check how correctly it classifies the new data. Okay. So, this is called as fitness. First, let us see the underfitting. Underfitting means if the target function is very simple, then underfitting may occur. That means it may not be capable enough to uh, capture the essential output. Capable enough to capture essential output, then this is called as underfitting. So, when the underfitting occurs, when trying to represent the nonlinear data with linear model, okay. The data is actually non-linear data, but the model is linear model. Very simple, very straight line, isn't it? So, this is the balanced fit, actually original fit. So, it should be represented in non-linear. But uh, the target function is linear function, isn't it? So, here in this diagram also, the balanced fit should like come like this, but underfitting means it is represented as a non-linear function, sorry, linear function, linear function. That means all the data below the line is one class and above the line are another class, isn't it? So, this is actually a wrong result. The original result should come like this. So, this is balanced fit, this is underfitting. So, the underfitting happens due to the unavailability of sufficient training data. That means, if the training data set is very small, then underfitting occurs. Okay. What are the causes of underfitting? It reduces 
the performance that is poor performance of training data as well as poor generalization to testing data both the things will happen right how to overcome this underfitting first by using more training data that is the training data set should be increased increase training data and reduce the futures by effective future selection so we have to use the effective future selection methodology to reduce the number of futures in the record okay so we have to select only number of required attributes from a record then only the underfitting will be overcome the opposite to underfitting is called as overfitting that means uh, this particular fitting matches the training data too closely so this is the balance fit this is overfit so here uh, this target function matches the uh, data very too closely isn't it so if any specific deviation in the training data that is in the training data the noise or outliers included then it gets embedded in the model that means the noise or outliers are embedded in the model hence the performance will automatically reduces that means the system will get more complicated the target function will be more complicated here okay overfitting occurs the result of trying to fit an excessively complex model excessively complex model to close matching the training data so because of noise and outliers here the target function that tries to make sure all the training data points are correctly partitioned by the decision boundary so this is called as overfitting here the test data is not affected by the overfitting right that means the target function results in wrong classification in the testing data set right testing data means new data new data hence the new data never affected by the overfitting isn't it so what actually overfitting is the overfitting result in good performance with the training data set good performance in the training data set but very poor generalization hence poor performance with the test data set why because there is an error in the training data error in the training data how to avoid this overfitting first one using resampling technique okay like k fold cross validation that means we have to completely reconstruct the training data and second one hold back of validation data set validation data set should be hold back and the third one remove the nodes which have little or no predictive power okay if there is no predictive power then that node should be completely removed uh, for given machine learning problem right so by this way we can avoid the overfitting problem and next let us see the bias variance trade off okay uh, here in supervised learning the class value the class value is assigned by the learning model okay based on the training data okay so the training data may be differ from actual class value right here um, if there is any deviation then errors may occur isn't it so the errors are two types first one is the error due to bias and second one is the error due to variance so this diagram explains the bias variance trade off okay so the y axis represent bias and x axis represent variance so variance okay so the first diagram is low bias low variance see all the data set are available only in the innermost circle 
okay so low variance and low bias and this is the second diagram here this is low variance high bias variance is low bias is very high see the data are very close to each other but that is deviated from the innermost circle and when come to the third diagram this is high variance high bias okay high variance means all the data are scattered and that is also deviated from the innermost circle okay so this is high variance high bias and this one fourth one low bias high variance okay so some of the uh, data are close to inner circle but the variance is very high first let us see errors due to bias okay errors due to bias which comes from specifying assumptions made by the model to make the target function very less complex or easier to learn okay very less complex means uh, that comes because of underfitting isn't it underfitting means insufficient training data insufficient training data okay so underfitting results high bias see high bias because of underfitting the next one is errors due to variance here it occurs because of the difference in training data set used to, to train the model the different training data set means uh, error data or outliers are used to, to train the model error data sets are outliers are used to, to train the model so that is the overfitting okay when overfitting occurs then we get error due to variance that means the model is closely matched to training data the model is closely matched to training data but highly deviated from the test data test data okay that is even the small difference in the training data which get magnified in the model magnified means see very much deviated okay the best solution is to have a model with low bias and low variance okay if there is low bias and low variance then only the model will be the best one hence the goal of supervised machine learning algorithm is to achieve a balance between bias and variance that means if bias increases then variance will get decreases if variance increases then bias will get decrease okay for example let us take this knn algorithm that is k nearest neighbor algorithm here the parameter that is the configurable parameter is k okay k means the number of nearest neighbors right that can be choosed uh, to the trade off between bias and variance okay when the k value is decreased that is the number of nearest neighbor will get decreased then the model will become very very simpler to fit hence the bias will get increased okay when the k value is increased then variance will get increased right so far we have seen the model representation and the interpretability under this class uh, we have seen underfitting and overfitting and the bias and variance trade off that is error due to bias and error due to variance and we have seen how to overcome all those things also in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit and thank you